So you can see now that we've soldered down the tabbing wire coming off the bottom of each cell onto the top of the one coming after it. So we have a weave going like that. But there are still two cells that don't have anything soldered onto the top one, to the top of them. This, that's this one here, and that's this one here. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to solder tabbing wire onto the top of this cell, and that wire is simply going to run off like that. And because the wire is coming off the top of that cell, that's going to make that the negative terminal. And because we have these wires here, running off this cell, but from the bottom, it's going to make that the positive terminal. So we're going to have the negative terminal and the positive terminal. We'll gather these three wires together, we'll gather the three wires together off to the top of that, and they'll run off to the appropriate terminal on the battery, or into the circuit that we're including this panel into. So this is where the output from the panel, the electrical output from the panel, is going to be drawn. At this end of the panel, we are going to do much the same thing. We're going to solder three pieces of tabbing wire onto the top here. But this time, we only want them to come up, instead of running off like that, as with the terminal, we just want them to come up to about that high. So I'm going to cut this here like that. So it's just sticking up like that. And we're going to solder three of those on. So I'm going to do that now, and then after that, I'll explain how we're going to connect these two cells here. So we've now soldered tabbing wire onto the tops of the two cells that were lacking it. One of them was this one over here, and as you can see, these wires are now going to come off the top, and that's going to be, as I said before, the negative terminal. So we're going to now basically twist those wires together, and these three are coming off the bottom here, so that's going to be the positive terminal. So we've got the positive and the negative output. Um, the other t the other cell that didn't have any tabbing wire on top of it was this one over here, and as you can see, I'm just going to turn it round. Um, what I've done here is I've cut it so that it's got about an inch or so clearance over the top of the pane here. What I'm going to do now is also snip these three here. So that they're the same height. So I'm going to take them down to about an inch over, like that. I'm going to get a piece of tabbing wire again, twice the length of each cell because they're square. So we're going across the cells now, but obviously because they're square, that's exactly the same as going down the cells. And remember, what we're trying to do here is get these wires that are coming off the bottom of this cell connected to these wires which are coming off the top of this cell. So again we're going from the positive underside to the negative top side. And to do that all we've got to do is connect these three wires to those three wires. The easiest way to do that is to get this piece of wire twice the length of a cell, hold it in here, fold this piece of wire down, fold that and wire across, press them against the side so they bind together, then likewise fold this one down, and likewise fold this one down, fold that one down, fold that one down, fold this one down, and then finally Fold this end piece over there and give it a nice squeeze. Right, so that is actually now connected. To make that into a really secure connection, we're going to use some solder. And solder is, remember, the same type of stuff that was in the flux pens, but this time we've just got it in solid form. It's just like wire basically. So we're going to now take this solder, I'm going to bend. this whole section over now slightly so it's just away from the side if 
from the inside of the pane just so we've got a bit more room to work with. Now take the solder and as soon as this gets anywhere near a hot soldering, as soon as this gets anywhere near a hot soldering iron, um, it will go liquid immediately. Um, and then it will set quite quickly as well. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to put the soldering on here, just touching that connection. And then I'm just going to let that get hot and then I'm just going to feed a bit of solder. And there we go. That will now set. And that metal, that metal solder has now gone in between the tabbing wire, the two bits of tabbing wire. That's going to hold them together. Do the same here. In there, all the way along. As well. Now, what it's really important to check at this point is that none of the bits of wire that you folded over which of course are coming off the bottom of this cell are touching the top of it. Now we can see that here this one almost is this bit here and also this bit here almost is so we've also got a few here and that's why we cut them nice and short so there wasn't too much overlap but even so they're a bit too long so I'm now going to go along and snip them Because if we have wires from the bottom of a cell touching the top of that cell, the whole cell will short circuit and it will cease to be a part of the panel and it will also limit the other cells. So it's pretty important that doesn't happen. So there we go. And now what we're looking at is a completed circuit. So this is now a solar panel and the next few steps are nothing to do with the electrical circuit but instead ways of making the panel last for longer.